ايه ريسك ذس ريسك ان ذا فيوتشر ات ايج اوف فروم 20 تو 30 ذس از ابير از از سيست اوف ذا كيدني اند ذس كان بي كومبلين فروم ابدومينال بين اند مي بي اولسو ماتوريا اند رايزنج اوف ذس بلاد بريشر اند سم سم بيبول مي ديفولوب ذا سيريبرال هومج ديو تو ديو تو مايكوتيك انيوريزم
the baby after he become adult. Uh, for abortion, uh, you t you told her her right to be aborted. Yes, her right to be aborted. But I think before that you have to emphasize this. You told her, but it is late. Uh, uh, should be precious. It is precious baby, and uh, we don't know actually. It is uh, this baby has adult has has inherited adult cystic blood disease, kidney disease, or no, uh, and maybe he is doing well in uh, in his life. And uh, there is a risk of complication, as you see, it could happen. But uh, this risk of complication is different from one to one. Also, for ke clinical uh, judgment, you told there is a research could found in the future to treat this condition. Actually, if this disease is an inherited disease, so I think there is no treatment for that. For inherited disease, it is, can control the, the the symptoms, but we can't uh, uh, totally cure for this medical problem. So that uh, for clinical communication would be two from four, for concern would be two from four, for clinical judgment will be <coughs> one, uh, two from four, and for patient refer will be three from four. So excuse me to try to have one question about genetic scaling of some genetic fluid. It is allowed, but at this stage, this patient will be, uh, she has uh, twins with in vitro fertilization. The amniotic fluid sample, one of the complication abortion. And this baby is precious, uh, both baby precious for her. And it will not change our prognosis. At, uh, yes, at, it, it will not affect. The treatment. I mean, there's no treatment yeah. now for the for uh, for this disease. Also, regarding if patient agree for abortion, what about the other baby? How we will abort one baby and this the other? No, no, no. He just asked about. He didn't tell you. Uh, uh, he didn't tell you. Uh, he, the, the lady doesn't mention for you that uh, she want to abort one baby and other. She asked as a general, what's about uh, abortion? Yeah. All right, I have a question, Dr. Ahmed. Okay. Okay, to whom? To me or to her? Uh, anyone? Hmm. No problem. You, get, you go ahead first. All right, let the ladies first. Okay, thank you. Um, if, the, if the mother said that she wants to abort the, the baby, then uh, what do we tell her? If she wants, if, if this baby with the abnormal kidney, she wants to abort it, can we, can we tell her is it possible or uh, will... Uh, refer you to the obstetrician or what do you mean? Yes, for uh, abortion of the baby, do you mean this both baby would be aborted? No, I mean the one with the kidney, the renal cyst. What is the, what is the risk for the other one? Uh, it's, it's possible, yeah. Yes, we know that the uh, twins or identical twins, both maybe have same placenta. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so that if we are going to abort one, there is a risk for the other one, will, uh, for the other baby may be lost, the high risk yeah. to be lost. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, it is uh, something that is uh, impossible to abort one and leave another one, because, if, uh, because both of depend on other. But if she wanted to abort, we have to explain what is the benefit mm -hmm. for her. Uh, I mean here, is, uh, she was infertile for five years. And one of the way of her boss, she does, she is good at the moment, and there is no medical problem. And the other one, there is a cyst in the kidney, in his kidney. We couldn't know what will happen after the river. Maybe he will not develop any medical problem and in the stage of renal disease. Maybe he will develop it later in his life. If she asked about abortion and insist, we have to refer her to multidisciplinary team that is OB-GYN physician and the genetic physician. But it is not our decision. I mean that mm -hmm. if the patient insists, even if the patient insists, we will refer here for ob physician and for genetic physician. Okay. But, we, but when we will not uh, tell her it is, it is impossible. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Thank what you. is the complication for uh, for baby Dr. Ahmed Al Adal to hold cystic kidney disease? If this kid, as you said, that if the kidney is there is cyst in the kidney, this could be complication during the labor. If there is normal vaginal labor delivery, so this patient may be obstructive labor because uh, the twins and maybe this uh, uh, large fetus maybe there is obstructive labor. So uh, she asked. Um, about the mode of delivery, I think for primary infertility and history of twin, and the history of IVF. the mode of delivery will be cesarean section, and the history of IVF. Yeah, so the mode of delivery will be the preferred yeah. one, will but be it is cesarean section. Yes, uh, let us talk in about that. It is not your decision. Uh, actually, it is the decision of the guy's yeah. decision. So that we will uh, carry the ball and uh, put it in, put it in front of the of the guy's decision. He is the one responsible to take this right. decision. Okay, not uh, from our. Uh, so, we so are not going to tell her about the motive. Exactly. Even even if we know that. Okay. So, and then another question. Uh, if they are identical twins, the risk of transmission will be the same risk. Okay. So. If one baby will develop post-cystic kidney disease, the other, will, the other baby will be 100 percent have the same disease. Is that okay? Uh, I am not sure about that. Uh, but at the time, uh, there is a risk for the other baby. But at the time being, the uh, ultrasound. But I, I, I am not. I, I don't know. Right. I didn't tell twins will be 100 percent or no. I don't know about it. Uh, I don't know. Right. Okay, the other question. If anyone know or anyone now can search about it in the website for identical twins with uh, adult or cystic kids. What's the screening the, test? The screening the test for adult or cystic kids. Right. No, no, no. He asked me. Yeah. The, the examiner asked me the, they have, the, the patient have them below 18 years. And what uh, of them help? Hello. Actually, I, 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 can't, I don't know the answer. If the kids choose to do this, the screening test, so how to deal with the situation? Uh, uh, really, I, I didn't hear you well. Could you read the question, please? All right. In my last exam, the father was was kidney disease. It, it, it was the same. Yes. Both it, of them. Yes. Yes. I I didn't uh, hear you, but I I know healthy, this question. And both of them are. I know this question. If the yeah. genetic can you write uh, can you write the question, please, because the the, the sound is interrupted. I know the question. I know. I know. I, okay, Doctor Muhammad. I know this question. If you have any patient with inherited disease and his age less than 18 years and the father asked to do a screening test for the kids what's your answer i mean do you, do you mean this question no i i know the question will be gene but if the kids refuse to do the test okay what will you do uh, i you will ask that this question okay i will speak about the genetic test Genetic test, it is if it will not affect the patient condition or will not affect the treatment, so that it should be after 18 years old. Okay, because it is genetic test should be 18 years old and should be signed and consent by the patient. We can do it before 18 years old if the diagnosis will help for the treatment, like the patient with cystic fibrosis. The patient who is, has inherited disease or current chest infection, so that the diagnosis will help him, so that we can do the diagnosis in in kids. If they refuse, if the kids refuse, refuse to do the the test, the test, it is not, not the, uh, and they are yes. they are competent, and what's the age of them? Both of them below 18 years. 
what is the actually the age يعني from 16 to 18 and we as if we assessed them and we found them they are co- they are competent and they take the decision we will follow one him. of them 14 yes we re- we, we will assess one him. of them is okay we'll, uh, we'll, we will assess them yeah, and will if we found them they are competent and they are trying taking the, the decision we can follow up them Thank you very much. Ahmed, I think for the condition, the need to the for the I think we need to take a family history of the heart and the history of cerebral uh, hemorrhage associated with the disease condition. We need to at this time, at, yes, yes. at this time, we'll do screening early. Yes, sir. Uh, for the next case, Dr. Mohammed Shalabi. Yes, sir. 